Hello all. Welcome to my YouTube lecture. In this session, we are learning about sequential and parallel blocks of behavioral modeling. So we have al already seen some sequential blocks, namely initial and always. Whatever uh, block is covered by begin and end are called as sequential blocks. For example, the keywords begin and end are used to group statements into the sequential block. And the statement inside the sequential blocks are proceeded in the order as they are specified. A statement is executed only after its preceding statement completes its execution, except for non-blocking assignments with intra-assignment timing control, which we had discussed earlier in the previous sessions. If delay or event control is specified, it is relative to the simulation time when the previous statement in the block completed executes. So here in sequential blocks, namely initial and always, if there are multiple number of statements inside it, we enclose it within begin and end. The meaning is those statements executes in the order. Once you think that there are four statements, first statements after it completes execution, then only second statement will be executed. And after it completes its execution, then only third and fourth statement will be executed. This is what is the meaning of sequential block. Let us have an uh, just take an example to analyze it. I have an initial block here. I have declared X and Y as a register of single bit and Z and W as a register of two bits. Initial begin. X is initialized at zero at zero simulation time. After five time minutes, Y is initialized as one. After five plus 10, 15 time minutes, Z is initialized as X comma Y. That is concatenation of x x is 0 and y is 1 0 1 and after 20 that is 15 plus 20 35 w will be assigned with y and x reverse of it 1 0 let us have a, a check of this code in the xilinx environment i have taken the same code let me just sim simulate it in order to analyze you have a checkpoint at hash 5 that is 5 time minutes 5 plus 10 20 15 time minutes and 15 plus 20 35 time minutes in these time uh, at these time minutes y z and w gets updated let us have a check on it zoom to fit i zoom it at 5 nanoseconds y is being assigned with 1 it is let us check the code y is being assigned with 1 at 5 time minutes at 5 plus 10 15 time minutes z will be assigned with x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 0 1 let me check at 15 time minutes at 15 time minutes z has been assigned with 0 1 and after that 15 plus 20 35 time minutes w will be assigned with y equal to 1 x equal to 0 1 0 1 0 35 time minutes so this is uh, this proves that the statements inside begin and end are executing sequentially now let us check what happens if it is a parallel block so parallel blocks are specified by the keywords fork and join. We'll not be using begin and end, rather we'll be using fork and join. Statements in parallel blocks are executed concurrently, means parallelly. Ordering of the statements is controlled by delay or event control assigns, assignments. If delay or event control is specified, it is relative to the time the block was entered. The keyword fork splits a single flow into independent flow. The keyword join joins the independent flows back to the single flow. So fork splits and makes the following statements to execute parallelly. Join makes all the parallelly executing statements to execute sequentially. That's that's the meaning of fork and join. I'll have the same example, only I change begin and end with fork and join. Let us take this in Xilinx environment. So let me just change this code to the parallel block fork join now how it should behave let us analyze first so before that i just keep it in the synthesis mode let it synthesize so when when fork is encountered everything inside it starts executing parallelly at zero simulation time x will be assigned with zero after five time minutes y will be assigned with one after 10 time minutes not five after 10 time minutes not 15, 10 time minutes, Z will be assigned with X comma Y. After 20 time minutes, W will be assigned with Y comma X. So let us simulate the same and check. So here, in the earlier case, it took 35 time minutes to get value assigned to W. 
Now in this case, the value for W will be assigned at 20 time units itself. Let us have a check on it. Zoom to fit. I'll just uh, zoom it. I have zoomed it. At five time minutes, Y gets assigned the value. At Z, Z will be assigned at 10 time minutes. See, it is not 15 now. And W will get its value at 20 itself, not at 35. So this shows that the code that we just now discussed with fork and join executes parallelly. This is a parallel block. Sequential blocks and parallel blocks should be carefully used. It can be nested. So if you nest parallel and sequential block, then we call such a block as as uh, as nested block statements. And then, uh, uh, so this completes your sequential and parallel blocks. There are some some two more blocks which you can just uh, go through it. Uh, nested blocks wherein you can use a begin end and fork and join together just explore it take it as an assignment and uh, what what happens uh, what problem you face you can just comment it and one more is there is a named and uh, disable block so you can name any block let it be begin uh, let me take an uh, uh, example of uh, the previous code so if you have uh, initial block uh, and if you are beginning it so you can give some name to this so that becomes a named blocks and if you want to disable it you have a command called disable keyword disable and name that block so that gets um, the block disabled so these are simple additional features that has been given to sequential parallel blocks you can explore it if you have any queries you can comment it in a comment box uh, i'll be happy to reply you and in the next video we are coming up with a traffic light uh, controller system which is uh, a very interesting and very important uh, theory and practicals that we need to understand which is used in almost many uh, all all the places so we'll have a look on uh, traffic light control in the very next session thank you see you in the next video